let me show you how to create a YouTube end card template for your videos and how to set it up in YouTube as well. So you can have sleek looking end screens customized to your brand, just like the ones you see on the screen now. Stay tuned. <laughs> I'm Sarah Nguyen and I help you grow your business using video with ease. If you're new here, consider subscribing for more YouTube training like this one each week. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to easily create beautiful animated end cards for your videos using Canva. You can do this using the free or paid version of Canva. Make sure you check out the link in the description if you'd like a free 45 day free trial of Canva Pro to get you started. Let's go through everything step by step to help you get your beautiful YouTube end card created the right way. What you want to do is start off in Canva and you want to search for in the search bar, YouTube outro, right? So simply type YouTube outro, hit that enter key and this will bring up all of the YouTube outro templates. So go ahead, scroll through, have a look at all the different designs and pick one that you like. And then we're going to go into it and start customizing it. So I'm going to go ahead and pick a design. And once you've picked a design, Canva will open it up in their editor. This is different to a standard graphic design because we're able to add animations. Now, let's see what we can actually do. With the template itself, you can change the color of elements on the template sim simply by clicking on it. So for example, if I click on the background, you can see it's purple here. I can click on that and then I can change it to be my own preference of color. Just by hitting on the element I want to change as well as if I want to remove an element let's just say that I'm not really in love with this particular splotch here I simply select it um, I can move it I can resize it or if I select that delete button up here or on your keyboard just the delete key that will get rid of it as well. If you've deleted something by accident, uh, don't freak out. There's this undo button here, the good old undo button, and you can restore it there. So you've got options to remove elements, resize them, change the color of them simply by clicking on it. You can change the color to be whatever color you want to be on the color wheel. You can also add your own elements. So within Canva itself, underneath the template section in this element section, here you've got so many things that you can literally add so whether it's graphics whether you want to add photos canva have it here for you in different categories or you can search for it yourself or let's just say i would like to find something with a heart i would simply type it in the search bar and then now i've got a range of different hearts that i can choose and by clicking on them it will add them to the actual design where i can resize it and move it and add it to the actual design here for me. The other thing that you can do, apart from using Canva's elements or Canva's photos, this is where it is if you want to choose it, or Canva's own videos as well, is you can upload your own. So in the upload section here, you can select the upload media. And then once you add the file from your computer to Canva, you'll be able to access the images, the videos, and also audio files that you can use for your end card and any designs in Canva as well. So you would go to upload media, you would add the file, and then it will appear in this section here and you can add it to the design. So now that the file's uploaded, I would select it and I would literally drag it into the design. So there it is. And if I double click on it, you can see here, I can just move it so that it's centered into that element, drag it so that it's a little bit bigger. And that's how I would add it to the actual component. Now, if you don't like this particular frame that you've dropped the video into, that's okay. We can choose another style. We would simply go to elements and we would in the search bar search for the word frames. And then you can see here all of these different frames come up and you can switch out and add your video to this one. So maybe you wanted an iMac looking one or maybe you wanted a rounder looking one. So you can scroll through and choose a frame, select it and add it to the actual design. And then you can then go and add your photos or your own videos to it. 
by simply choosing the video and dragging it into that frame. So that's how you would change the different style of frame if you didn't quite like it. Now let's talk about how we can animate the YouTube end card. Now at the moment there already is an animation applied to the page. You'll see in the top left hand corner here it says baseline. If I click on that then I can see that there's options here. So I'm going to select remove animation just so I can demo what we're doing here. And then you can see now in the top left hand corner, it says animate. So if you want to animate the whole page or change the page animation from whatever Canva has added to your own one, you would go and click off the design. So there's no particular element selected. Then you would go over to this animate button here. So click on that. And you can see here they've got different combinations, they've got different styles. And if you just put your mouse on them, you can see like a preview of what it will actually look like. And then you can apply them to the actual design. So I really like that. And you can do a whole page animation by clicking on that. And you can see I've selected pop. And in this top right hand corner here, well top corner here, it says pop and that's applied it to the whole page. Now, if I just wanted to animate just one particular element and not the whole thing, I'm going to select remove animation. Then I would select the element that I wanted to animate and I can animate different elements with different styles. So let's just say, let's start with this text section. So I'm gonna click on that. I'm going to click on animate, which is over here now. And then I'm going to make this one go up. So that will be a rise animation, right? So that one will be just for the text where it says, thanks for watching. It's now going to be this rise animation, right? So if I want to animate another section, let's just say I wanted to animate the hearts to be another one and I want a different style, click on the hearts, click on animate, and then I can have this as stomp. Right, so then you can see there that this animation here is this rise animation and the hearts here is a stomp animation. So that's how you would animate the different elements. You would click on it, you would click on animate and then you would choose it. So those are the two options that you have for animating elements or animating the whole page. Now, when it comes to animating the text, before we get into that, I want you to know that in case you don't know, you can always edit your text, right? So the text that you want to edit, you would simply double click on it and then you can see the cursor has appeared and then you can go ahead and just type the text that you want as well as delete any text as well. So you're not stuck with what Canva have created for you. You can always change the text or change the element by clicking on it. Now to animate that text or any text, you would simply click on it and then you will see in the top here, animate will appear. So we will click on that. And then we can make sure that we're on text animations here, right? So it's opened up this section and we want to be on text animation. And then now we can choose all the different animations. So this was the block, um, this is burst, and we can see watch me is going in the burst. I can scroll along and there's this roll. So watch me is doing a roll. So I can simply hover over them to see how they will appear and then click on it once I'm ready to choose it. So I like that block one, I'm going to click on it and that solidified it there. And you can always remove it um, if you want to change it and add another one as well. Now, when it comes to the template, if we preview it now, we can see that we've got all the animations going, the video that I added, and overall, it's a pretty cool template. But one of the things that you can do is you can also add content before and after this actual outro template that they've got. So for example, I want to add a video before the actual template starts and then a transition to the actual outro template that I've got here. So what I've done is I've gone to upload and I've uploaded my own video, but you can use your own videos or you can also use Canvas videos or Canvas images as well. Um, then what, I've, what I'm gonna do is I've uploaded the video and then I'm going to click on it and then I'm going to drag it and I'm going to place it just before the YouTube outro. So I want it to appear before the actual outro card happens. So then I've dropped it and now you can see here, I've got this video here. 
when I click on the video, I can see that it's 35.7 seconds long. If I go to the top corner here, I can trim it so I can make it shorter or longer and I can choose different parts of the actual video to actually play. So I can change the video and trim it from here as well. And if back in the timeline here, if I click on the three dots on the video, I can also click add transition. So I'm going to click on that and now I'm going to select a transition. So just like the transitions that you get in your video editing software, you can have it dissolve, you can have it slide, you can have it circle wipe, you can have it line wipe. So I'm going to choose slide and click on that. And then I can also choose the direction. So I'm going to have it go from the left to the right, choose that one there. And that's a nice little transition that I have. So you can add your own videos as pages or you can add your own images as well. You can also drag it to either side of the template as well, just by literally clicking on it and dragging it. So it really is versatile. You're not just stuck with the single template here. You can add things before and after it, as well as changing all the elements of it. So now when we click to preview, you can see that I've got my little video Video here and the girl is waving and then this is going to transition into my actual card like that so I really like the look of that and it really lets you customize this outro to be how you want it to be not only can you add videos to your YouTube end card in Canva, you can also add audio as well. So whether that is audio that you've recorded yourself and uploaded, you would go to upload media and then you would select the file, whether that's an MP3 file that is a soundtrack or an audio file, you can upload that yourself. Once you've uploaded that, it will appear in the audio section in the uploads area, and then you can start to add it. And you can add it by simply selecting it and then once again, dragging it to your actual design. You will know that the audio file has been added because it will appear just above the timeline here. And if you click on it, there are a couple of things that you can do. The length of the actual audio file is the length of your actual design. So if you wanted to choose a different selection of the track, all that you would have to do is click on this section here and drag it to another section of the tracks. And this will now play it from a different section. The other thing that you can do is if you click on the speaker here, you can adjust the volume to make it 100% of the sound or you can make it softer as well. If you wanted to use the music provided by Canva itself, you would simply go down to the audio tab on the left hand side here and this will open up all of the tracks that you have access to. You can search for audio in the search bar here and the tracks are actually from Epidemic Sound. So you have access to a large library of music in different genres that you can add to your actual design. Once you have finished with your design, you would export it by going to the top right hand corner here where it says download. And then you can choose the file type, which we want to go with MP4 video. And we can then click on the download button and this will produce an MP4 video that we would then add to our YouTube video. Now, once the file is downloaded, you will have a version of it on your computer. And then to add it to your actual YouTube video, you would open up your video editor. I'm using ScreenFlow for the purposes of this demonstration, but whatever software you use, whether it is iMovie, whether it is Movie Maker, or whether it is Adobe Premiere, whatever it is, you would simply open that up and then you would drag that file that you just created and then add that to the actual timeline as a video file. And now that the end card has been added to the video file, you would export as per your usual process for exporting it. Once you've exported your entire YouTube video with the end card, you would then upload it to YouTube and then you would finish it by adding the end card elements to it. So once the video is uploaded, it will look a little something like this. You would click on end screen and then you can see this is the end card that we've got at the end here. And then we can click on element to add a video to it. So I'm going to choose a specific video and select that one and then just move it to that section of the end card and resize it a little bit there. And then I'm also going to choose another element, which is a link. 
and then paste the link here, select apply, and then move that section here. I'm also going to change the link image as well, selecting that and apply once again and just moving it to where I want to be and then clicking save. And that's how you add the end screen elements to your actual video. I hope you got so much value out of this video. And if you did, please hit the like button for me and let me know in the comment section below, what other YouTube training would you like to learn more about? I love making these videos for you. In the meantime, why don't you check out my YouTube tutorials playlist or if you want to create YouTube videos to grow your business and you're struggling to come up with what to say, you'll definitely want my five swipeable YouTube scripts. They'll help you create YouTube content in half the time that grabs your viewers' attention and grows your audience. You can check them out now by clicking on the screen and I'll see you in the next video.